September 16, 2007. In Baghdad's busy Nassauer Square, a group of bodyguards from American security firm Blackwater unleashed a barrage of fire at unarmed civilians. They killed 17 people, including two women and two children. One of the dead was Ali Kinani, a nine-year-old boy who was shot in the head by the guards. The massacre was orchestrated by former servicemen in the U.S. Army, Dustin Hurd, Evan Liberty, Nicholas Slatton, and Paul Slough. In 2014, they were convicted of murder and attempted manslaughter. Slatton was sentenced to life in prison, and the other three got 30 years each. Now, six years on, they are walking free. Mohammed Kinani, the father of nine-year-old Ali, told the BBC that Trump's decision broke his life again, and he's not the only Iraqi to be angered by the move. Iraqi's blood is not cheap. Four Americans are freed even when they have committed the most heinous crimes against Iraq. It's honestly unfair. For me and other Iraqis, this is unacceptable. Today, they proved their occupation, that whoever killed Iraqi people can just walk out of the prison. The UN has also condemned the decision, saying it would embolden others to commit similar heinous crimes. So why did Trump decide to pardon men convicted of killing 17 people? The answer could lie in the background of the Blackwater Company. The security company was founded in 1997 by Eric Prince, a former naval SEAL and future ally of President Trump. Blackwater started as a small company providing shooting ranges and training facilities. The U.S.-led war on terror turned it into a global security giant. The firm was showered with billions of dollars in contracts as America invaded Afghanistan and later Iraq. It worked for the State Department, the military, and the CIA. The company's bodyguards were assigned to protect diplomats, military convoys, assist the army, and undertake covert missions. But the shooting in Baghdad put the spotlight on the inner workings of the organization. A U.S. government investigation found that the company was inflating their bills, guards were drinking on the job, and violating government security protocols. Eric Prince sold Blackwater in 2010. But since 2015, the former contractor has developed close links with Donald Trump. His sister, Betsy DeVos, is the education secretary in the Trump administration and has acted as an informal advisor to the president. The pardons may have triggered an uproar, but many will conclude that for Trump, his allies and friends seem to matter more than law or justice.